In this tutorial, I'll show you a bit about customizing roofs in your project. Live Interior 3D lets you customize any auto roof. All of the tools you need to do this can be found in the Object Properties tab of the inspector. As soon as you select a segment or side of the roof, its parameters are automatically shown right here. At the top of the inspector, you see the buttons that change the soffit type. Simple, Horizontal, and Box End. We'll select the Box End type. Just below is the Fascia Limit Stepper Control. We'll set this to 3 inches. Please note that the soffit and fascia control is applied to the whole roof, not just the selected side. You can see the parameters of the roof segments of any selected side in the list below the fascia limit control. These parameters include the angle, height, thickness, and overhang. Right now we only have one segment, but you generally have to select a segment in this list to edit it, but we'll get to that in just a second. The two buttons with the plus allow you to add a roof segment to either the higher half or the lower half of the selected side. Let's add a segment to the upper half. Now take a look at the height parameter in the list. They have the same height. That is because adding a roof segment basically splits the existing segment in half. You can delete a roof segment by selecting it and clicking the X button, but not if it is the only segment on that side. Now let's start working with this segment. As I mentioned earlier, the table here shows every segment on a particular side of the roof. We're going to add it the upper segment, so we'll just select it in the list. But note that you can also select it in the 3D view. Parameters can be controlled in the Current Roof Segment section at the bottom of the inspector. Here you have an illustration of the roof type and stepper controls. The angle parameter changes the angle of the roof segment. We'll set the angle at 90 degrees. As you can see, any segment with an angle of 90 degrees becomes a gable. Now we need to match up the material of our new gable to the brick. Now the height parameter obviously changes the height of a segment. Since the height of the uppermost segment is dictated by the angle of the roof, you cannot manually change its height. So let's change the height of the lower one. We'll enter in 2 feet and 3 inches. Wait a second, did you notice that? The highest part of the segment changed. The height parameter either extends or reduces the highest edge. The thickness parameter, as implied, changes the thickness of the selected roof segment. The overhang parameter changes the height from the lowest side of a segment, creating an overhang if you change its parameter for lower roof segments. But selecting a gable allows you to extend the width of the two connecting roof segments above. If you look closely, you can actually see the shadows appearing due to the changes. Now you can also edit multiple roof segments simultaneously, but they have to be on two different sides of the roof and parallel. That is, the two lowest segments or the two highest, the two in the center. To select more than one side, click on them with the mouse while holding down the shift button. We'll change the angle to 44 degrees and the overhang to 7 inches. So now the roof is complete. Basically, the options are endless and you can really come up with some interesting ideas if you just play around a bit. Well, that's a wrap for roofs.